Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. For today's video, I will be swatching Pat McGrath's Mini Lip Trans Lipsticks. This is a limited release, of course, and it's the Skin Show V2, which I think stands for version two. And the shades in these are Christy, Beautiful Stranger, and Flesh Three. So first off, love the purple glitter and the iridescent packaging. It's cute, it's fun. I am getting all sorts of summer vibes from this packaging, so I love that. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this opened. So I dimmed my lighting just a little bit so you can see the true colors of the lipsticks. And this one is a yellow packaging, a peachy coral, and this one is actually an orange lipstick. So the first shade I want to start with is Christy that comes in the yellow packaging. Straight off the bat, this is looking like a peachy nude color. And I have a feeling this one is gonna swatch pretty nicely. Okay, so I think the colors here are pretty consistent with, you know, what's actually in the tube, what was swatched behind my hand, and what's on my lips. And I actually like this color. This is a great everyday nude lipstick. This shade, I think, is very complementing to my skin tone without me looking washed out and I can still take another step and apply a darker lip liner which is how I usually wear my lipsticks anyways. As you can see it already looks good without a lip liner so wearing something darker could elevate this color and turn it into something even more beautiful. But like I said this is a shade that's very complimenting, very simple. I think it will be a great choice for a lot of people. This one is a winner for me. If you guys think this is a great color go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below because I actually dig this one next shade up is beautiful stranger this orange packaging What I love about Pat McGrath's lipsticks is that the formula is so unique and comfortable. It's a matte formula, but it's a creamy matte that does not dry your lips out. And the best part about these as well is that they do not expose the dry areas on your lips, the dry patches or the fine lines. They do a very good job of concealing those imperfections. So they make a great lipstick choice for people who suffer from already dry lips like myself. So I always, always opt for Pat McGrath's lipsticks when I know I'm gonna have a very long day because they are just there's nothing I can compare to them and every time I put them on there is nothing that I can say hey these remind me of such and such brand they are very similar I haven't found anything yet not that I'm not searching because I am but nothing so far compares to how these lipsticks make my lips feel and look but what do you guys think of this color it's another neutral toned color nonetheless a beautiful color that again i think will be very complementing to a lot of skin tones and lastly but not leastly we have flesh three and I am seriously looking forward to trying this one because so far I have been very satisfied with the first two.
Okay, so this one is a darker brown color. Wow. I am already liking this color. I just love the undertone that I'm getting from this lipstick. It's unbelievable. I don't know if you can see it, but to me, there's almost like a reddish undertone, like a slight, it looks like a brick reddish brown. I don't know what it is, but I am loving the undertone that I'm getting. And as you can see how it's swatched on the back of my hand, it is spot on how it looks on my lips. So. I talk about consistencies all the time because what I see in the tube is what I want to see on my lips. And that doesn't happen all the time. And then we just end up being disappointed with the product. So consistency is there. Quality is there for sure. It's not too dark of a brown and it's not too light where it falls into like a natural nude brown color. So it's a perfect mid-ground of a brown lipstick to me with a gorgeous undertone. Give me a thumbs up if you think this color rocks. Okay, so let's have a little recap of these mini matte trans lipsticks. First off, I love the fun high-vis highlighter colors. They're quite fun and fresh, especially during the summertime. And the lipstick shades are more on the neutral side, even though they are packaged in very bright colored lipstick packaging. The shades are definitely more neutral. And one of the things that I love about Pat McGrath lipsticks, like I said before, is just the quality of the formula. It's like no other lipstick I have ever tried for being in the category of a matte lipstick. It has a very creamy texture that glides on in one easy swoop. So there is no struggling to get it on and it feels completely weightless. It feels completely weightless on your lips. There is nothing there. Another thing is that it does a great job at hiding your imperfections. So if you're someone who suffers from consistent dry lips, these will be a great choice for you. It's not gonna solve the problem, but it's gonna help to reduce the imperfections of dry patches and fine lines in your lips. These do a very good job of that, and that's why I love them. So as you can see, these definitely have a lot of positives, but one downside to these lipsticks, of course, is the price. These are not budget friendly at all. One lipstick is around, I would say $38 for a full size lipstick. Hence the reason why I always opt for the mini sets because they are a great choice, especially if you are just getting into Pat McGrath lipsticks. You wanna try her minis first. And to be honest, her minis do last me a long time despite how frequently I use them. Why? Because these are exceptionally long lasting lipsticks. The formulas stay on your lips until kingdom comes. And it feels comfortable for being a matte lipstick. So that is why I adore these so much. They are a great choice if you don't want to spend so much money to buy one full size lipstick. You can just go ahead and buy the mini sets. They are like either $25 or $28 for the three minis. Then from there, you can decide if you want to purchase the full size lipsticks or not. But as always, I highly recommend Pat McGrath's lipsticks you will not be disappointed. Plus, they are a wide range of shades available. There are reds, there are nudes, there are pinks. There are endless shades available that you can choose from, and they are very skin tone friendly. So you can definitely find a shade to 
complement your skin tone but that's all i got for today if you guys like this video make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this from me i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video bye